going on, man? Thank you. Yeah, Everything. Thank you very much for being here. Isn't it My great pleasure. To be out and be among people. It feels good. <laughs> it feels good to be outside. Man, I got to tell you, man. I, I, you know, I appreciate what you do, not only just on screen, but also, you know, for the community and for the culture. I've really appreciated. Thank you. Your voice and. And for, as far as activism goes, it's been a big part of your life, like, even as you were a kid, right? Yeah, yeah, I was raised in uh, a, certainly a politically conscious, socially aware mm -hmm. uh, environment um, at home and, and uh, in terms of the folks that were around us. Uh, mm -hmm. We were always being uh, given an opportunity to have a, a, a way to interpret the marketing that was, sure. that was, that was coming at us. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and uh, being broke. Helps Absolutely. give you some perspective too. Absolutely. Well, I think that, I think it's a beautiful thing too because the, uh, obviously the way that it's worked out, the way in which you use your voice, and the way that you that you see the world and the things that you're passionate about creating, you just produced uh, two distant strangers that won an Academy Award. Congrats on that, Thank man. You. Now I gotta ask. So what what was that what was that night like for you? Yeah. What, what was that night like for you? Uh, it was incredible. I mean, these guys. I'm just really privileged to be to work with really really smart, intuitive, creative folks like Trayvon Free and Martin Desmond Rowe, and we had a great team mm -hmm. around us. And um, that night was pretty euphoric for a couple reasons. I think, A, it's nice to work on something and see it curl all the way around. It mm -hmm. find a home. We were mm -hmm. blessed to be able to get distribution through Netflix, so you get mm -hmm. exposure. People can uh, experience the message that you, mm -hmm. that you attempted to put together. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to be acknowledged. It's nice, I think, a lot of times, particularly you know, women and black and brown folks are used to having an experience or having an idea or getting something started, mm -hmm. but then somebody else mimics it and gets all the credit Absolutely. for it. Absolutely. Or gets an, it gets an award for their version of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, so it was nice to see, uh, it was a collective win, and it was nice to see the people that I worked hard with mm -hmm. uh, get their flowers. Uh, so that was nice. It was also nice to just be out. I was outside. Like, right. I went out, <laughs> I went out, and I was in a group of people. Absolutely. Uh, celebrating and sharing that energy. Right. It's, there's nothing, there's nothing like, you know, 100%. You know, now, you know what, while we're talking about it, go ahead and tell us what the film is about, man. Yeah, so Two Distant Strangers, which is available to you right now on Netflix, 29-minute film. Uh, it, ex it explores the journey of a young man named Carter who, uh, after a lovely night, just wants to get home to see his dog, to feed his dog, and keeps bump finds himself bumping into uh, an interaction with a police officer, an unsolicited, mm -hmm. unnecessary interaction mm -hmm. that ends poorly. And then he gets kind of a deja vu restart, and starts over and is gonna attempt again to just get to his own home mm -hmm. under his own volition and he's obstructed again. I'm, I'm trying to speak a little bit in code so you can sure. experience it for yourself. Right, right. But it, 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 a little bit of a Groundhog Day model if right. you're familiar with the, the Bill Murray movie, um, where he keeps re restarting and mm -hmm. trying again, trying again and something isn't working, mm -hmm. uh, which is very much how a lot of us feel when we uh, are living as black people in right. public. Um, and also watching the news over and over again. And they, every, all these stories blend together and they enmesh mm -hmm. with each other and it's traumatic and it affects us in mm -hmm. our daily lives where other people have the privilege of just being able to focus on their interests. Absolutely, and it's an incredibly important film. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's take a look at this clip. Nice. See the corner? Cute couple about to kiss. Boom. Yoga girl about to take a selfie. Scared a kid right there? Watching me shit in three, two. Son of a bitch. You fucking with me? Nah. Nah. So if I shoot you now, we gonna do it all over again? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's what shots the bad, uh, Joey Badass in that. Awesome. Now, let's switch gears for a second. So both of us are, are parents. Um, both of us have five-year-old sons. Yeah. And you know that boy energy is just is off of the charts. Mine literally never stops. It's, he's either Spider-Man one day or The Flash the other day. Oh, The Flash. What about yours, yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my son, uh, Maceo, very similar. He's, gets, he has an older sister who checks him a little bit, so he's got a little bit of uh, some, <laughs> some, some bumper cars in the right. house. But yeah, Spider-Man is very big, Black Panther. Yep. Dash from 
something I forget now. Maybe the Incredibles. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Anything fast, and also paper airplanes and kites. Yeah. We're doing. We're in a very aerial stage right now. Which okay. Is fun. So I have to look forward <laughs> yeah. to. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Look, we got more with Jesse after this. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. We're back with Jesse Williams now. Jesse, recently you just uh, you just left Grey's Anatomy after 12 years. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now, how was that watching that like watching your last episode? It was a little more emotional than I expected, to be honest. Uh, it's been a long, beautiful, just spectacular journey. I'm mm. just beyond grateful to everybody involved, starting with Shonda all the way um, to all the incredible crew that we, that we spent time working mm. with, both as, as an actor and a director. That's where I started, directing television. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, just, just a lot of gratitude, uh, and, but a little, little more emotional than I, than I expected as it all wrapped up. It's funny, you, you say that they made a few kind of, kind of homage videos or memory videos and seeing that you know this young kid start and and how, what that yep. character's journey yep. was you know it, it, it did it did contextualize it for me a little bit absolutely it's, it's pretty nice and also speaking of new chapters man you're about to you're about to be off to new york you got a broadway play coming up yeah on. yeah i'm awesome, really excited man. i'm really excited um we started i was in the third week of rehearsal for take me out broadway play that we're reviving i'm uh, one of the leads darren lemming and uh, we were three weeks into rehearsal when COVID hit mm -hmm. So we had to abandon ship there, but lucky for us, which is, which is incredibly lucky, we get to go back yeah. and, and, and get another shot at this thing. So I'm very excited to lead in a Broadway play. Absolutely. You know? It's pretty, pretty exciting. And also, I, I, I gotta say this, so there's also a part in the play you're gonna be getting naked on stage. I what? Understand. Uh, yeah, that's, I understand. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> I got the memo. Uh, yeah, the, it just so happens that uh, the guy, I, I don't know what the applause is for. Um, <laughs> uh, what's he, tickets, ticket sales to plummet after week one. Um, but uh, yeah, the character does, uh, does call for a little bit of nudity. So, um, you know, what I will say about that is it's terrifying in all the right ways. Right. I'm looking to be challenged in new ways, to be scared and excited and be pushed. You know, I, uh, one of the beautiful things about the job I've had for so long is the comfort it creates. Right. So I'm excited to do something new and, and transition from there into more entrepreneurial right. endeavors right. and, you know, starting an education platform called Assemble, uh, which, awesome. uh, you know, essentially creating an education platform for all the best and brightest BIPOC creators, black and brown women, mm -hmm. um, uh, innovators all over Love the country. Love it. And a space online and on mobile where we can all learn from them. You can learn from the best and brightest innovative jobs, jobs you didn't even know existed. We talk mm -hmm. about a crew. There's so many jobs in show business mm -hmm. alone mm -hmm. that folks don't even know exist and that are really amazing mm -hmm. uh, career, career tracks. And also learning that it is, our walks are different. It is different being a woman right. in this world. Right. And uh, me teaching in some kind of gender agnostic way or racial agnostic way is not exactly serving our people. Mm -hmm. So we are finding ways to meet our folks where they are and teach them um, about the real world and how we can continue to be incredibly ambitious and successful like yourself. Man, I love it. And, and honestly, I, I, I will say, but I'm sure there's so many people that share my sentiment. We're so excited to watch your journey continue. And so proud of everything that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Two Distant Strangers is available now on Netflix. The incredible Jesse Williams will be right back, y'all. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,